So if I was going to describe what's most important to me is how do I translate what it's like to be to roast coffee but in the small Caribbean island. That to me is something the most fascinating. How do you make something that someone else would really want, a great product, and then how do you do it again and again and again? And then how do you allow yourself to make something that someone would want again and again and again? That to me is what the most fascinating thing about coffee. Anyone can make a product, put a pre-label on it. I want to put something that someone's going to want. I want to do something that's going to allow my home translate into what we're doing. Because our environment is special. We come from a little Caribbean island, not really, not known at all for coffee, not really known for anything other than rum, some surf maybe. I want to do something that's going to make someone really proud and say this was roasted in Barbados. Roasted in Barbados by Bajans, people who care about their craft and only want to do something that pleases others. I think that's where it's most important part of coffee. It's like people forget you can get very insular in coffee. Coffee can be all about you, your process, how you're making it. But ultimately, someone has to drink it and hopefully that person will drink it and doesn't need to know everything behind the story. They don't need to know that it was really roasted in Barbados or where the origin of the coffee came from. Well, that's all important, but it's only important after the person who drinks that cup of coffee and goes, wow, that's a good cup of coffee. And that's to me the most important the story that comes after. But the pleasure, that's first. And that's what I want to capture when we roast our coffee. I've been doing this for now 20 years. It's a small family company. It started with me and my wife, Mandy. Basement, typical, like, small family company. 20 years later, it's still a small family company, but we now have a team of staff that are all passionate, like us. And that's also the most exciting. Because if you look at coffee, the history of coffee, it starts off, if you really want to think about it, it starts off how many thousands of years ago in Africa, Ethiopia, origin of where coffee comes from. But then it comes to this really exciting time. Say just the you know, turn of the century, last century. Italian espresso, the true crux of how coffee and community really starts. That's what fascinates me. And it's also what fascinates me is the historical context of it. How do you get something that started off as a raw plant, then it becomes it comes to define a culture, the Italian espresso, and then how the historical context of equipment of that time, process of that time, the history of the country of that time, and then how do we take that, learn all the knowledge we can from that, and then push it to the next, to the next level. And that's where I think where I'm most excited about, where I've taken the knowledge of the history and then I can now apply it to, to where we are in modern time.